Hello, everybody, and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Tatum. If not, welcome back. Just a quick reminder to please like and subscribe to support free yoga. I'm putting out hour-long videos now, so I'd really appreciate the support. Today we are going through a super fun flow, letting go of perfection, and just having fun. So if you know you have tight shoulders, I'd recommend grabbing a strap for this flow. And if you'd like to use a block for underneath your fingertips to bring the earth a little bit closer, I'd also grab one of those as well. I didn't use them in practice today, but I did cue for them. So if you have them, go ahead and grab them. Grab anything else you would like, and I'll meet you back here. All right, you guys, welcome to your mat. So I'm gonna start off in hero's pose. If you don't like hero's pose, you can always come into um, Sukhasana or easy pose. And if hero's pose you like, but it's a little bit tough this morning, you can always put a block or a pillow or something underneath your seat just to lift you up a little bit. So wherever you are, in easy pose or heroes, let's bring our shoulders right up over our hips, press down through the earth beneath us and lengthen through our spine. Chin is on the horizon. Palms can be palms face up or palms face down on top of our knees or thighs. And let's just take a moment to welcome ourselves to our mat. Eyes can be softly shut or gazing down at the floor. Let's take a big breath together. So exhale wherever you're at. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Feel your belly expand. Exhale, H-A ha, out through your mouth. And then take a few more of these on your own. Maybe taking a bigger breath with each inhale. Allowing that belly to expand. And then drawing the belly button into the spine, compressing all the stale air out from yesterday. Maybe with every exhale you clear a thought that comes in, just let it go. This is your time now. And on your last cycle of breath, let's inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hands come through our heart center. Gazing down at our fingertips here, let's set our intention for our practice today. I'm gonna set, let's uh, go with letting go of perfection and just having fun in our practice. It's okay if you fall out of a pose, just come right back up. That's what yoga is all about, practice, not perfection. And when you set that intention, or you follow it along with mine, let's gently take our hands to the tops of our legs here, bring our chin onto the horizon. And we'll take a full deep breath in, sit up nice and tall, lengthen and grow through your spine. Try to kiss the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Pause at the top. And exhale, completely release. Begin to seal your lips and inhale and exhale out through your nose if you cultivate that ujjayi breath or you have it in your practice. If not, just take that normal, regular breath. You can inhale and exhale out through your nose or mouth. When you're ready, let's gently glide forward into a tabletop position. Hands are right underneath the shoulders, knees are right underneath our hips. Go ahead, take a few cat cows on your own, flowing with your breath. So an inhale will take you to cow, and an exhale will take you to cat as you round your spine, pressing your palms into the earth. Taking any organic movement here if you'd like, shifting from side to side. Taking some torso circles. Maybe you press back, shift forward, whatever's gonna feel good. You can drop your head down, taking a neutral spine, and maybe just shift your head from side to side, stretching out the neck. Just a couple more rounds here. And then we'll all meet with a neutral spine. Let's shift our weight into our left palm. Inhale, right arm lifts, opening our chest to the right. And then exhale, right hand reaches over to the left. Inhale, lift and lengthen, opening up the chest. Exhale, pull it in, right underneath that left arm, reaching over to the left side of the room. 
Inhale, open and expand, coming into this little thread the needle flow. We're just not taking that shoulder down. Two more at your own pace. Last one. We'll all come back through center, plant that right hand. Inhale, left arm reaches up, twisting open to the left. And exhale, draw it under, take those fingertips over to the right. Inhale, reach, lift in and expand. Exhale, pull it under, reach. Couple more. Inhale, you expand and open up. Exhale, that left hand glides underneath our right, reaching to the right side of the room. Let's take our final one here, wherever you are. Inhale, reach, open up. And then exhale, let's take that right hand right underneath our shoulder. Let's tuck our toes and press our heels, our hips back towards our heels, stretching out the soles of our feet. And we'll inhale, roll forward back to our tabletop. Kick this right leg back behind us. Left arm reaches out, bird dog. Pull that low belly in, level out your hips here. Take a deep inhale as you expand, and then exhale, knee to elbow. Couple more, inhale, expand, lengthen. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach and expand. Exhale, pull it in. Two more, strong, slow with control. Inhale, reach, pull the low belly in. Try not to sway in that low back. Last one. Inhale, reach, hold it. Take your left hand right underneath your left shoulder and then take this right foot to the outer edge of the left side, the left outer edge of your mat. <laughs> and then we're gonna take our heel and try to bring it down towards the floor. Gently gaze back past your left shoulder, back at your right heel, taking this little C shape, nice side body stretching. Pressing firmly through both hands, trying not to dump into left or right sides. And then we're gonna gently bring that right knee to the outside of our left knee, so our legs are crossed behind us here. You can scoot and readjust if you need to. Inhale, shift your weight forward. And then exhale, press your hips back. Nice outer hip stretch here. Breathing and sending your breath down into your right outer hip. Gently shift forward, uncross your legs, shifting from side to side if you need to. And then let's plant this left hand, right arm reaches, left leg kicks back, bird dog. Pull in that low belly, inhale reach. Exhale, pull it in, slow with control. Inhale, reach and expand. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it in. Crunch in, rounded spine when you crunch in like your cat. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach, last one. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, expand, hold it. Right hand plants, left toes come to the outer edge of the right side of our mat. A little tongue twister there. Outside edge of our mat here, on the right side. <laughs> and now let's take this heel down towards the earth and let's gaze past this uh, right shoulder back at our foot, take, creating this nice little C shape, side body stretch. Breathing wherever you are. Reconnect with your breath. Press firmly through both hands. And then let's gently draw back everything into center. And then take this 
uh, left knee and bring it onto the outside of our right. So our legs are crossed here. Inhale, shift your weight forward. And then exhale, sit back. Grounding down through the palms of our hands. Draw your shoulders back and down away from your ears and breathe into the left side body. So down that left outer hip here. It's a nice deep stretch. When you're ready, inhale, shift forward, uncross those legs, bring everything back to midline. Coming into our first downward facing dog, setting up, tucking our toes, you can walk your hands one palm's length from where they are. Take a full deep inhale, and then exhale, lift your hips towards the sky, and begin to pedal out your feet or taking any other movement that you need in your downward facing dog. You can shift your hips from side to side. You can shake your head yes. You can shake your head no. You can even pivot on your feet, rocking your hips from side to side. Let's take one big breath together here. Exhale wherever you're at. Take a full deep inhale through your nose. And then exhale out through your mouth. Beautiful work. Take a couple more rounds of breath or any other little movement that you need. And then when you're ready, let's gently walk our feet up to meet our hands in our forward fold. Now you can stay here in your forward fold or you can take your left foot to midline and then cross this right foot out and around to the outside of your left taking your fingers over to the right uh, edge of your mat here and shifting your hips over to the left. Nice deep stretch down our legs. Keeping a micro bend wherever you are and then shift your gaze either to your legs or behind you to lengthen through the back side of your neck. Coming back through center, if you have those twisted legs here, Take your right foot to your midline and then take the left foot out and around to the other side and then walk your hands over to the left edge of your mat. Hips are shifting over to the right. Take your gaze to your legs or behind you, lengthening through the back side of your neck. We'll come back through center, uncross your legs if they were crossed, and let's inhale, slowly roll up to standing, arms reach up, big, full, deep reach, and then exhale, they'll rotate down, inhale, opening up, exhale, they are gliding down, inhale, reaching, opening, and expanding that chest, waking up the shoulders here. Switch directions, inhale, reach up, exhale, backstroke it, opening up that chest. Let's inhale, arms reach up overhead, exhale, forward fold, hinge with your, from your hips, lead with your heart. And then an inhale will take you to a halfway lift, flat back, hands to chin. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step back into a high plank or a low plank, it's your choice. I'm going to lower my knees down for the first one. We can lower all the way down to our belly, heels of our hands slide back. Let's inhale, lift up, low cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, lifts us up, and an exhale takes us back to our downward facing dog. Go ahead, pedal out your dog here if you'd like. Taking in any other little movement that you need. So let's try to speed it up here. Go through two more sun A's. So when you're ready, inhale, come high up onto our toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or walk to the top of the mat. Let's inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up to stand, arms reach up. Exhale, hands come to our low back. Inhale, lift through your chest. 
Exhale, press your hips forward, come back, back bend. Inhale, we'll bring you back through center, and then exhale, we'll take you to a forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands, step back, inhale at the top. Exhale, lower all the way down or halfway down. Inhale, we'll take you to an upward facing dog or a low cobra. And then exhale, pulls you back to a downward facing dog. So this will be our vinyasa. If you wanna spice it up by lifting one leg or the other at any point in time, you can. You can always skip your vinyasa. Or you can always come into a modified version if you wanna drop your knees at any point in time. Listen to your body, this is your practice, and you can decorate it how you wish. When you're ready, let's take it one more time, one breath per movement. Inhale, come high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up to stand, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands, step back, high or low plank, lower down or all the way. Inhale, we'll lift you up, low cobra or upward facing dog. And an exhale, takes you back, downward facing dog. Beautiful work, you guys. Let's take one big breath together. Exhale, wherever you're at. Take an inhale through your nose, fill up your belly. And then an exhale, H-A ha, ground down. Press through your hands, reaching those heels towards the earth, bending through your knees. All right, when you're ready, let's inhale, right leg lifts high, bend your knee, open up your hip. Go ahead, take a few knee circles here. Switch directions. And let's kick that right leg up to the sky. And then step it forward, right next to our right thumb. Back heel is gonna come down towards the earth here. Let's inhale, lift up. We're coming into a low crescent. So arms can reach up overhead. You can interlace all 10 fingers and then leave your pointer fingers out as you lift and reach, maybe coming back behind you. If you feel like your back is tender here, you can bring your hands to your low back and reach back. It's your choice. So take your variation and when you're ready, inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, press your hips forward, come back gently. You don't have to come back to your fullest expression. You'll have another chance. Breathe, hug everything in and up to midline. Don't crunch in that low back. Inhale, come back through center, release your grip. Hands come to frame this front right foot. And then let's shift our hips back, straightening this right leg. Our foot is gonna stay on the earth here. You can walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, breathing and reaching. And then if you'd like, you can begin to lift these toes up, getting a deeper stretch down the backside of your leg. Keep a micro bend in your knee here. And then when you're ready, inhale, walk forward, framing this front foot, coming back to our low crescent. We're gonna tuck our back left toes, lift our knee up off the earth. Back heel spins down. Our toes are gonna be facing towards 11 o'clock. Root to rise, coming up warrior two. Take a moment to set up in your warrior two. It's our first one of the day. So let's work our knee right over our ankle here. Back leg is working strong, my foot's on the earth. Inhale, shoulders to our ears. Exhale, roll them back and down your back. Reach, expand, feel the pose. Coming into our extended side angle, right forearm to our, left, our right thigh, left fingertips reaching forward. Breathe. Now I want you to test something out. Sink your hips low here. Now if this right arm is on your, on your thigh here, I want you to lift it up and see if your upper torso moves or if your core is engaged and your legs are working hard, nothing should move. So we're not dumping all of our weight here. So if I like, if you're dumping all your weight, you might drop down. So really try to engage and hug in that low belly, pull your core in and then lace those low ribs down. Option to open up your top arm, cactusing it open, or you can even bring it back behind you. 
gaze can come up towards the sky or the ceiling. Reconnect with your breath. Legs are strong. And let's inhale. This left arm reaches forward again. And then coming back to our warrior two, reverse your warrior, left leg light, or left hand light on our left leg, right fingertips reaching back. Our right knee is still bent here. Draw your right arm right back into the shoulder socket, away from your ear. Coming back, warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to frame this front right foot. Step your right foot back to meet your left. Now listen carefully. All 10 toes are turning to the left side of our mat. Our right hand is right underneath our right shoulder. Left hand lifts, side plank. Option to take this bottom leg down to the earth if you'd like. You can stagger or stack your feet. Wherever you are, lift through your hips. Reach this left arm to the sky like you're trying to Reach for the sun or the moon to lift you up. Then when you're ready, spin back around, coming into your high plank, take a vinyasa, or you can press back into a downward facing dog. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. All right, coming into our left side. Inhale, lift this left leg, bend your knee, open up your hips. Take a few knee circles here. Weight is even in our left and right hands and shoulders. We're not dumping into our right side. Shift directions. And then we're coming back up. Lift this left leg high. Step it through right next to your left thumb. Back right knee comes down towards the earth. And then again, coming into our, our low crescent here, this is your choice. You can bring your hands to your low back. You can interlace all 10 fingers, and then release the pointers, or you can just reach your hands up. When you're ready, take an inhale. Lift and lengthen, just point straight up to the sky. Lift up out of your hips, lengthen your spine, and then exhale, press your hips forward, reach your fingertips back. Maybe your chest is lifting and your chin can pull away, or you can keep your chin to your chest. It's your choice. You don't have to come to your fullest expression yet. And an inhale will bring us back to center. Cartwheel your hands down to frame this front left foot. And then we're gonna shift our hips back, straightening this left leg. Again, keeping a micro bend in your knee. Walk your hands right underneath your shoulders here. Option to stay here. This is enough of a stretch, or you like that top side of your foot stretching out here, keeping your foot on the floor. Or if you'd like, begin to lift those toes, getting a deeper stretch down your hamstring. Our hip points are squared to the top of our mat, so we're drawing everything back equally and not shifting to our left or right side. Send your hips back and your heart forward for a deeper stretch. And we'll gently come back forward, coming into this low lunge, tucking our right toes, lift this back right knee, and then our back heel slips down towards the floor, and our right toes are facing towards two o'clock. Inhale, reach to rise, warrior two. Again, finding our footing. Your feet aren't glued to the mat, so readjust your stance if you need to. So this knee is right over my ankle, back leg is strong. Let's inhale, shoulders to our ears. Exhale, rolling back and down your back. Relax, breathe. When you're ready, extended side angle. Left forearm to our left thigh. Right fingertips reach forward, sink low through your hips. Find that, that uh, comfort zone and then maybe sink a little bit deeper. And then again, testing out that core and everything hugging in and up. Let's, when you're ready, let's pull this left forearm up so nothing should move. We're working really hard in our upper and lower body so we're not dumping all the way into this left arm. Option to cactus open your right arm. 
Gaze can shift towards the sky, or you can take it behind you, palm face away. Again, sinking low through your hips if you feel them lift up. Breathe. Weight is still light in that left arm. And when you're ready, an inhale will take these right fingertips forward. And then again on another inhale, coming back, warrior two. Reverse your warrior on an exhale. Right hand to our right leg, very light. Left fingertips reaching behind us. Still bending through this left knee. Reconnect to your breath. I know our legs are on fire. When you're ready, inhale, come back through center. Cartwheel your hands down to frame this front left foot. Back toes turn forward. Step your left foot back to meet your right. And then again, listen carefully. All 10 toes spin towards the right edge of your mat. Left hand is underneath my shoulder. Right arm lifts, side plank. And then again, you can drop this bottom leg or you can stagger your feet or stack them. What you really want to do is really lift through your hips, reach this arm up towards the sky, try to grab the sun or the moon as it lifts and pulls you up. Press firmly through the earth to lift and lengthen your body. When you're ready to come down, right hand plants shift over, high plank. Option to take a vinyasa or shift back into a downward facing dog. It's your choice. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. All right, we're moving a little bit faster here. Same thing, just building on. When you're ready, inhale. Right leg reaches towards the sky, bend your knee, open up your hip, option for a flip dog here. Right foot comes to the left edge of our mat, right fingertips reach forward. Lift and lengthen, pushing through your hips, open up that chest, option of cactus, open that top arm. Right fingertips reach forward again, flip back over, three-legged dog, right foot steps forward to the top of the mat, left knee comes down, low crescent. Your arm variation choice. Inhale, lift and lengthen, lifting up out of your hips. Exhale, press your hips forward, come back. Maybe a little bit deeper this time if your body allows today. Ooh, don't fall out. I mean, you can fall out. <laughs> Just watch your balance. And then inhale, brings you back. Hands come to frame this front foot. And then an exhale, shift your hips back. Keeping our foot planted on the earth this time, draw your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Take an inhale, exhale, twist, open up to the right. Right fingertips reach towards the sky. Again, drawing your right thigh bone back into the hip socket so your hips are squared off. Breathe, gaze can be down at this floor, up towards the sky, it's up to you. Coming back down. Lift your toes up off the earth. Hinge forward, hips send to the back of your mat. Inhale, glide forward, coming into your low lunge. Tuck your toes, back heel spins down. Warrior two. Breathe, find your pose. Inhale, shoulders to your ears. Exhale, roll them back and down your back. Right forearm to right thigh, extended side angle. Option to stay here or you can drop this right hand to the inside or outside of your right foot. It's your choice, whatever feels best. Again, sinking low through your hips here, working on that core. If you felt your body move the first time we tried this core exercise, maybe stay up here building your strength. Your fingertips should just be grazing the floor. Breathe, open up your chest, maybe send this Left arm back behind you. Maybe you can take it down into a bind if you'd like. Breathe, sink the hips low. When you're ready, left fingertips reach forward. And we'll lift up, warrior two. Exhale, reverse your warrior, straighten that front leg, give it a rest. Come back, warrior two. 
Inhale, arms reach up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to frame this front foot. Right foot steps back to meet our left, high plank. Coming into a side plank, all 10 toes turn to face towards the left edge of our mat. Right hand is right underneath our shoulder. Left fingertips lift. Option to lift this top leg. Breathe, connect. Press firmly through the earth, lift through your hips. Open your chest to the left side of the room. When you're ready to come down, whoo, maybe come into a plank or a three-legged plank. Take a vinyasa or press back into a downward facing dog. My towel is flying all over the place here. It's a windy day. All right, when you're ready, left side. Inhale, left leg lifts high, bend your knee, open up your hip. Take it into a flip dog. Left toes coming to the right edge of our mat. Left fingertips reaching. Lift through your hips, deep back bend, side body stretch. Option of cactus, open your arm. Left fingertips reach forward again. Coming into a three-legged dog. Step this left foot forward. Coming into a low lunge, find your footing, take your time. And then coming into our crescent. Again, you choose the arms here. Arms can lift up or come to your low back. Wherever you are, root through the earth. Lift up out of your hips and lengthen your spine. And then exhale, we'll press your hips forward and then take you back. Maybe a little bit deeper this time in your back bend. That back is tender. Keep your hands on your low back like you're sticking them in some pockets. When you're ready, inhale, come back forward. Hands come to frame this left leg. Shift your hips back. Beautiful. Hands come right underneath your shoulders, so planting this right hand on the inside of your left leg. Take a deep inhale, and then exhale, twist. Left fingertips reaching towards the sky. Breathe. And then this left leg is drawing back into our hip here. On an exhale, we'll come back down. And then again, if you'd like, you can shift your hips back, lifting your toes up off the earth. Hips tend to the back, heart shifts forward, deeper stretch down on our front leg. Again, micro bend here. Don't hyperextend, don't put pressure on this leg. When you're ready, shift forward, tuck these right toes, spin that back heel down. Inhale, root to rise, warrior two. Find your balance, get your pose. And then when you're ready, extended side angle. Option to stay here, working on that core, working on the leg strength, or if you'd like, drop your hips low, sink them low. Fingertips graze the mat, and then our right arm reaches towards the sky. Maybe it reaches back behind us, opening our chest. Or maybe you take a little half bind here. Wherever you are, sink low. Breathe. Find your focal point or your dristi. When you're ready, right fingertips reach forward again. Well, inhale, lift up, warrior two. And then exhale, we'll take us back. You can straighten this front leg, give it a rest. Weight is light in our right hand. Come back, warrior two. Breathe. Then on that next inhale, palms touch overhead. Cartwheel your hands down to frame this front left foot. Back toes turn forward, left foot steps back to meet our right. All 10 toes turn to spin towards the right edge of the mat. Left hand underneath our left shoulder. When you're ready, right arm lifts, side plank. Option to stay here, or you can lift that top leg if you'd like. Wherever you are, breathe. Lift through your hips. When you're ready, gently shift back over. Maybe that three-legged plank, taking your vinyasa, or you can press back. Downward facing dog. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. All 
All right, second slow here, guys. When you're ready, step your feet together at the back of your mat. Inhale, right leg lifts high. Exhale, step it through right next to your right thumb. Back heel spins down. We're coming up into warrior one. Sink your hips low. Engage your core, lift up. Fingertips can reach towards the sky. And then exhale, sink low through your legs. Readjust your stance if needed. Pull this low belly in and then draw this right leg back. So again, these hip points should be squared forward. So if you need to pull this top leg in a little bit, that's fine. Just really try to square them off towards the front. Arms reach up. Let's drop our hands back behind us, coming into a humble warrior. You can interlace all 10 fingers or grab your strap. Knuckles reach down towards the floor, lift through your chest. Take an inhale. And then exhale, hinge forward. Knuckles are coming up over our head. And we really wanna hug this right knee into our right shoulder. Now our right hip has a tendency to shoot out towards the side. So I want you to pull it into midline. So the back of your head is directly down the center of your mat, not over to the left corner. Gaze back at your left foot, wherever you are, breathe. And then gently release your hands to your low back. Then drop them in between, or sorry, on the inside of your right foot. Now we're gonna walk our hands and all 10 toes to face the long edge of our mat. But I'm gonna turn around here. So we're in our prazerita here. So you can stay here. This is your, your choice, Yogi's choice. Or if you'd like, you can begin to shift and drop your hips low, shifting from side to side. If this doesn't feel good, you can stay lifted, bend your knees, hands come to your thighs, and you can shift and wake those hips up here, dropping your butt down low. If you're like, man, this is super easy, Tate, let's bring your hands to heart center. Maybe you shift and lift, using just your legs and that core strength, shifting from side to side. Now we're all gonna come back through center, prazerita. We're gonna shift all 10 toes towards the front of the mat. So our right toes should be forward. I'm just gonna switch here. And we're coming into a high lunge, so sink your hips low. And we'll inhale, lift up. So we're gonna take our left arm under right, crossing out our elbows, wrapping out our forearms here. Or you can grab opposite shoulders, it's your choice. Breathe and sink low. Coming into that crescent here, inhale, lift, and then exhale, press your hips forward, fingertips reach back or elbows lift up. Inhale, come back through center. Now we're gonna shift forward into an eagle pose. Now you can step forward into a chair pose first to get you grounded, to get you rounded, or you can find some buoyancy in this back left leg you're gonna shift your weight into your right and step forward, crossing this left leg over right, sink low. If you need to come out, that's fine, readjust. Breathe wherever you are. So in this eagle pose, let's draw our shoulders right over our hips, elbows and knees are in one line, and deep bend through our right leg. Now these left, this left big toe can hook around your right calf. Well, mine don't, but that's fine if yours don't either. But if they do, that's cool too. Wherever you are, this is your pose, find it. Option to stay here, you can take it into sleeping eagle, hinging forward. Or if you're like, this is way too easy, let's release this top leg, shoot it back into a warrior three, reaching our fingertips forward. Flex your left toes, drop your left hip in line with your right. Breathe wherever you are. Soaring eagle and sleeping eagle, let's come back home, eagle pose. Unwind your arms, unwind your legs, inhale, lift up, stork pose, breathe. 
And then we'll step back, high runner's lunge. Sink those hips low. You got it. And then we'll just step this left foot forward into a forward fold. Reconnect with your breath wherever you are. Let's inhale, slowly rise up to standing, arms reach up. Exhale, hands come down by our side. Shake it out here. Fix your towel, fix your mat. Take a drink of water. I'm gonna have to glue this towel down. All right, I'm not used to flowing outside. <laughs> okay, so we're coming into our left side now. Let's inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step back, higher low plank, or you can shift back into a downward facing dog. You can always skip the vinyasa if you'd like. All right, so let's inhale this left leg high. Step it forward, right next to your left thumb. Back heel spins down. Coming into our warrior one here. Inhale, lift up and sink low. Find your pose. If you wanna bring those hands to your hips, you can. You can feel your hip points shooting awkwardly open to the side. Let's bring them forward. Readjust your stance if you need to. So this left thigh bone is pulling back here and your right hip is rolling forward. Pull your low belly in and up. Lift and root through your feet. Arms reach up. Exhale, sink low. When you're ready and you feel comfortable, drop your hands behind your back, grab your strap, or interlace all 10 fingers. Knuckles reach down, chest lifts towards the sky. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, hinge forward. This left shoulder is right next to your left knee. And you can already see that if your head is reaching towards that right corner, draw your hips back in line with one another, trying to find that squared off situation that we were just working on. Shift your gaze to your back right foot. Allow your shoulders to soften, knuckles are coming up. Breathe. When you're ready, woo, or you lose your grip, bring your hands to your low back. Both hands come in between, or come on the inside of our left foot, shifting all 10 toes to the right, long edge of our mat. And then again, shifting from side to side. Waking up and opening up our hips. So this is Yogi's Choice here again. If you want to work on a headstand or anything else, you can. Or you can join me in this hip opener. You can be down here or up here. Sink your bum low if you're here. Almost like our little goddess flow. Maybe lifting your toes up from side to side. Now if you're in a headstand, gently begin to make your way down. And we'll all meet in Prazerita again here. And then again, turning all 10 toes to frame, or to, sorry, all 10 toes to the top of our mat, framing our front left foot. And then our, we're on the ball of our back right. Sink your hips low, coming into our high crescent. You want our feet staggered on a railroad track, not a tightrope. Inhale, root to rise, arms reach up. This time, right arm is under left, crossing, wrapping, and twisting. Or you can grab opposite shoulders. Sink your hips low, find your footing, back leg is strong and straight, heel is over the ball of my back foot. Inhale, lift, exhale, shift your hips forward, fingertips back or elbows up. Breathe, you got it. Find the strength in your legs, you can do it. Inhale, come back down. When you're ready, either step forward into your chair pose or find buoyancy in this back leg. Take your weight into your left. Step forward. Woo, eagle pose. It's okay if you get a little bit wobbly. We're letting go of perfection today. Coming back to that intention. So when you found that eagle, draw your shoulders right over your hips. Deep bend through your left knee. 
Elbows and knees are in one line, working on compression. You want to lean back farther than you think you need to. And then maybe these right toes are tucked around your left calf. If not, just try to point and hug your legs together as best you can. And then option, hinging forward, sleeping eagle. Or if you're like, this is too easy, Tate, shift back into your warrior three eagle arms. Toes flex back towards your face. Drop your right hip in line with your left. Body is parallel to the earth. Wherever you are, breathe and connect. Sleeping and soaring eagles make your way back home. We'll all gently unwind. Inhale, lift up, stork pose. My right knee is bent. Step back, high runner's lunge. Sink your hips low, breathe. Then when you're ready, step this right foot up to meet our left, forward fold. Connect. You can shift your hips from side to side. Inhale, slowly roll up to stand. Go ahead, shake your legs out. Grab some water. We'll all meet back at the top of our mat. Let's inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step back. Coming into your downward facing dog, or if you absolutely need to, you can take your last vinyasa. We'll all meet in our downward facing dog. When we all make it to our downward late facing dog, we're gonna come into a pigeon pose. Let's inhale, right leg lifts high. Then exhale, hinge forward. Right knee to right wrist, left ankle, or sorry, right ankle to left wrist. And then shoot this left leg back out long behind you. You can stay lifted here. And if you feel like this hip is hanging out in space, put a pillow or a block or a book or something underneath there to give you a little bit of support. If this isn't serving you today, we'll come onto our back, bend your knees, cross this right leg up and over our left, flex your left toes back towards your face. You can stay here, interlace all and draw the leg in. Just keeping those toes flexed on the top foot to protect your knee. If you're in this pigeon pose on the floor, you begin to make your way down. Letting any thought go that pops up in your mind. Let's keep it from wandering here. And maybe try to imagine sending your breath into your right hip and finding a little bit of ease on every exhale. If you're in this pigeon pose on the earth with me, you can bend this left leg. If you want a nice little quad stretch, reach back with your left hand, or maybe take it into a mermaid if you're feeling up to it. We didn't do too many quad stretches, so be very gentle. You can even use a strap here if you'd like. Gently release that left foot if you have it. If you're on your back in a reclined pigeon, just switch legs. Remember to flex those left toes back towards your knee. If you're in this floor pigeon with me, let's lift up. You can shake your leg out in three-legged dog. And then when you're ready, left leg lifts high, left knee to left wrist, left ankle to right wrist, and shoot this right leg back behind you. You can stay lifted here. And if you feel like your hip is in space, again, taking a block or something underneath it to support it. When you're ready, gently make your way down.
keeping that wandering mind present here. Maybe focus on your breath again, sending in, into your left hip this time. Or maybe you just come back to those big, full, deep inhales and exhales. With every exhale, you find a little bit of release or let go of a thought that keeps popping up. Focus on the present and feel the pose, feeling the earth beneath you and the air surround you. You're in this floor pigeon with me. You can bend this right leg, reach back with your right hand or a strap, doing a nice little pull in. Again, being very gentle so we didn't do too many quad stretches today. If you're feeling up to it, you can take it into a mermaid, but don't push yourself. Listen to your body. Know the difference between pain and stretching. And we'll gently release this leg. And then if you're in this floor pigeon with me, let's tuck our right toes, send our left leg back. Give it a nice little shake. If you're on your back and recline pigeon, stay there. We'll all meet lying on our back here. Finishing up our practice with a few more poses. Let's bend our knees, taking the soles of our feet to the floor. You don't have to walk your feet up so close to your bum here. You can keep them out a little bit. We're coming into our bridge. So in our bridge, I want you to really try to roll your shoulders underneath you to lift your chest towards the sky. So you can take your fingertips towards the sky like these little robot arms, or you can take your hands, palms face down. My favorite is the robot arms to really press through my triceps. So when you're ready, let's take a full deep inhale together. Exhale, release. And when you're ready, inhale, press to the earth, lift your hips towards the sky. Now begin to roll your shoulders underneath you, lifting through your chest and your belly, pressing firmly through your feet. Our knees are staying this hip width distance. So you can even put a block in between your knees and you shouldn't drop it. Your chin is rolling to your chest, or your chest is rolling to your chin, but they're not touching. Keep your gaze straight up at the sky. When you're ready to come down, what, roll one vertebrae down at a time, very gently. You can shift your hips from side to side when you make it down. Take this two more times, so when you're ready, and inhale, we'll lift you up, rolling your shoulders underneath you. Breathe and connect, pressing down. Gently release. Option to take another bridge, or if you have wheel in your practice, you can take a wheel with me. And take our hands right next to our ears here. My fingertips are right underneath my shoulders, and I'm hugging my elbows and upper arms in. Feet are gonna be, mine are a little bit wider than hip width distance, I just like them that way. But you don't want them super close together, at least hip width distance. So when you're ready, take a full deep inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, press yourself up, lifting up. You can press your chest forward if you'd like. Breathe and connect. Being very gentle, so you don't want to put a lot of pressure on your head when you come down or come up. When you're ready to come down from your wheel, tuck your chin to your chest and slowly lower your shoulders down. And then just like your bridge, lower one vertebrae down at a time. Wherever you are, when your body is flat on the mat, you can begin to shift your knees from side to side. Let's take our legs up to the sky here. Taking in the legs up the wall, you can open and close your toes, roll out your wrists even if you want to take your arms up to the sky as well. I'm going to take this straight into happy baby. 
bending my knees, grabbing for the outer edges of my feet or legs or thighs. can rock from side to side, or maybe open one leg up and then the other. And then from here on out, it's Yogi's choice. So if you want to take a twist, or you want to come up into a headstand, handstand, shoulder stand, whatever you need to do to finish up your practice here, go ahead and take any final poses. If you are following along with me still, I'm gonna take it into a twist. So I'm gonna take my right leg up and over my left, like those eagle legs, arms are along, and then I'm gonna drape my legs over to the left side of my mat. So my right leg is crossed on top, draping to the left. You can take your gaze over your right hand here. Or you can keep your gaze up towards the sky. If you're in a twist, allow your upper body to relax down into the mat. Letting gravity do the work here. You don't have to crank your back or anything. We'll gently come back through center, uncross our legs, shift over to the other side. So if you're in an asymmetrical pose, you might want to shift your side now. Then again in this twist, allowing your upper body to relax down. And we'll all gently come back through center. I'm gonna hug my knees in one last time. Big squeeze in. And then gently release into my Shavasana. Now your Shavasana can be anything that you'd like. It can be a big star pose. You can even lay on your belly, you can lay on your side. Wherever you are, Allow your body to relax down into the surface and feel its support. Letting your muscles relax and shut off, thanking them for all their hard work. Gently releasing tension in your eyebrows, in your jaw, until you just feel the gentle rise and fall of your belly. And when you're ready, begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and we'll take one bare, big morning stretch, reaching our fingers and toes in opposite directions. And when you feel ready, gently roll onto your favorite side, cradling your head and your arm. Gently press yourself up into a seated position, either sitting in hero's pose where we started, or easy pose. Draw your shoulders right over your hips. Press down through the earth and lift through your spine. Chin is on the horizon. Let's inhale, arms reach up overhead. Hands come through heart center, coming back to our intention today. Letting go of perfection and just having fun. You can carry this throughout your day, your week, or your weekend as well. Thank you so much for flowing with me, you guys. And as a reminder, please consider to like and subscribe to support free yoga. It's always an honor to flow with you, and I can't wait to see you next time. Namaste.